I had a hard time um, growing up for many reasons. I went to Catholic school and stuff, and, and then, you know, not having a mom, yay, I know it. But not, not having a mom and stuff, it was hard because you don't know where to look to for guidance. You know, like I didn't know where to look. So basically what I started doing was going to Catholic school, I just started praying to the wrong Madonna. <laughs> if I needed anything, and you know Madonna's mom died too when she was little. If I needed anything, that's where I went to for guidance. I was like, okay, I need something. I was like, okay. Dear Blessed Mother Madonna, the kids made fun of my science experiment. What did you do when Evita tanked? When Evita tanked, what did you do, Madonna? Blessed Mother, please tell me, because I don't know what I'm going to do. Amen. <laughs> but, I, you know, I didn't know what to do. And then I realized, like, everything I needed, like, all the wisdom, all the guidance that I needed, was all right there written in the scriptures. You know, everything that's right there. For it is written. I made it through the wilderness. Somehow I made it through and through. I didn't know how lost I was until I found you. Now for those of you not familiar with your scripture, that's album two, song three, verses one through four. Okay? And even if you don't like Madonna and you're not a fan or whatever, you still have to respect her tenacity, right? I mean, who do you know besides like Wile E. Coyote who just keeps on going, right? I mean, they said you're fat, you can't sing, you can't act, you know, and they just, and she keeps on going. I'm like, what does she do? What is her secret? How does she do that? And I realized it's no secret at all because you know what? Not that many people know this. But when Madonna was inducted to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and she was given her trophy, and they passed the trophy over to her, the stone, and she was standing there on the mount, they said, teacher, blessed mother, teach us your ways. <laughs> and the blessed mother stood and she looked upon the people. And you know what she said? She said, I would like to thank my critics. She said, I would like to thank the people who said I was chubby, who said I was talentless, who said I was a one hit wonder. Because, because she said they made me question myself. What did they do? They made me question myself and they pushed, they pushed. They pushed me to be better. What did they do? They pushed me to be better. And for that, I am grateful. Was she mad at the enemy? No, no. She said, I am grateful for their resistance. Can I get a witness? So I'd just like to thank you all, Congregation Ice House, for coming here together tonight. And um, thank you so much. Amen. God bless.